Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Duffy. I'm a research fellow at Swinburne University, and I create universes inside supercomputers. This is a, a slightly different type of astronomer. We uh, use powerful supercomputers that really can follow, right after the Big Bang, the formation of galaxies like our own Milky Way. And why we do that is simply because there's no other way to repeat the experiment. Every other scientist gets to repeat their experiment, check the results. In astronomy, you can't make galaxies collide again. They're just going to do what they're going to do. But with these baby universes on these supercomputers, I can play around with it as much as I want, test out new theories, collide as many galaxies together as I want, and see what comes out. And if it looks like reality, good. And if it doesn't, well, then I've learned something and I get to find out why. From a very early age, I was obsessed by the stars. I wanted to know more about them, why they twinkle. That got me started on the journey. But then it wasn't really until I read Stephen Hawking's uh, Brief History of Time that I realized there was a job, that this was actually something people did. They, they investigated. And really from that moment, I was on a, on a path to becoming a professional astrophysicist. But I did take every option I could at university, every physics science options, because they're all phenomenally fun. I love particle physics, I love uh, geology, but it was always gonna be astronomy. And at the end of the day, black holes are just too cool. So my job is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. I get to sit and think about how galaxies form, how they grow, how they're held together by this mysterious new particle called dark matter. We don't even know what it is, but we know it's out there holding the galaxies together. I wanted to know more and I have a job that lets me do that. It does have some negative consequences though. It's, it's tough, it's pretty demanding. You have to do a lot of different things, which can be fun when there's not too much. Probably the only real big negative is that it doesn't stop. Most other jobs you stop at six o'clock or you clock off for the weekend or whatever. In astronomy, you just you're always working, you're always thinking because you want to know the answer. This is why you got into it, is to learn and to, to find out what the nature of reality is. And that means you're going to work your weekends on this. And that can be frustrating to partners, but it's, it's just a joy. It's, it's the dream job. Technology has changed my role, my job hugely in the last few decades. And I don't actually think my, my position could work without supercomputers. I, uh, I don't think an old Atari, you could actually run a simulation with more than a few particles. And now I run universes with billions of particles that uh, simulate, uh, that represent whole galaxies. These are crazily powerful supercomputers and really my role doesn't exist without them. Astronomy is a super social science. Mostly you work in teams of a few, maybe a dozen, and for the square kilometer array, it's gonna be teams of thousands. So definitely you wanna to talk to other people. And that's a key part of the role is that you travel. You, you travel to uh, meet collaborators, to present your latest findings. That's a great part of the role. And one of the best bits of my day is when some lecturer comes in from Princeton or Caltech or Cambridge, to show off their latest ideas and then everyone gets together and have the sometimes fairly aggressive arguments and you all learn something. I think starting out, uh, if you're really interested in the science path, you definitely want to learn how to learn because the facts that school is trying to teach you right now, the techniques they're trying to explain, that's fine and totally useful, but we have no idea what the future is going to be like 10 years from now, 20 years from now. We don't even know what the jobs are going to be like then. So you really have to be flexible and know how to find out answers for yourself. No one at 18 should feel like they have to know exactly what course to study, much less ultimate career. So if you're even younger than that, don't even worry about it. Just pick subjects that you enjoy, that give you the most options possible, and then just have fun with it and don't stress.